Okay, welcome to the video, and in this video, as you see in the title, this is going to be the all-around fruit uh, tier list. So this will be both, or all fruits will be ranked by PvP and their PV uh, strengths, I guess. But anyways, let's just go ahead and start. We're gonna go like from here, obviously left to right, whatever. It is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna be going out of order, but here we go. Anyways, obviously we have S tier, the best A, you know, pretty good, really good. B is like right in the middle. C is kind of like it's it's okay. You know, you know D is just like you don't really want to use this, but if you got to, you got to. And then the worst is obviously like don't use this like at like at any cost. Like no matter what the situation is, you do not you want to use this. Anyways, first we have Bari, and Bari is um not good at all for PVE. It is terrible for PVE. You never want to be using Bari for um uh, for grinding, whether it be like boss grinding or just leveling up in general you don't want to use this for pvp it's good okay this is pretty good in the right hands for pvp so because it does have good strengths on pvp but it's mainly just because the cage nothing else just the cage and ultimate makes it good i am going to put it at d just because the pv really brings it down a lot but for pvp it's pretty good if this was just the pvp tier list i would i would rank this a lot higher but since it's not i'm gonna put it at d next is bomb now bomb actually does do decently well in PVE and it does not do good in PvP. I'm not gonna lie, it's terrible for PvP. But in PvE, it's it's pretty good. You know, if you don't have anything to work with, but you have a bomb, bomb will get you there. Bomb can maybe get you up to like a mare or something. Not trading, but like you know, like it can get you some chests or whatever. So for that, I'm gonna put it at C, not B. C. So C tier. Um, it is decent for PV. You know, I've even had to use it when I didn't have anything else to use back in uh, like update fucking three or two. It was the goat for PV. Not gonna lie. But anyways, that's gonna be that. And now we move on to the next room. And now we have Venom. Now, from what I've seen, Venom is like in PV the best for grinding, especially in Gladiator, uh, the Gladiator Coliseum. You will always get number one with Venom. Like you, you there is not a chance you don't get number one. And especially for just any boss like grinding it's just so good venom is like easy s tier just for grinding alone and on top of that for pv for pvp it can be pretty good just if you spam bro it's so good like if you're just spamming fruit yeah it takes no fucking skill but it's still pretty good because of the poison damage that's what gets you so much your poison damage and on top of your dps you know you're just doing too much damage and then you have the venom mode it makes it even more broken so for that um it is going to be at s and now we have Mera. So Mera for PvE is decent. You know, you obviously you have okay burn damage. You have your uh, AOE moves. Your he can whatever your block breaker, flame pillar, and the ultimate is pretty good overall. But it's just not that strong, really. It has a flight, yeah, but it's really not that strong. And there's other fruits compared to it that's just better, you know. So for that. I'll put it at B. And for PvP, it's decent. It's all right. You know, it's, it's nothing crazy. You're just doing. You're mainly just doing burn damage. You don't really have any combo extends or anything with it. You're just, you know, doing damage. But at least five and one until he can is true. That that makes it a lot better. So for that, I was already high B tier, and it's official high B tier. You know. Now we have Gumu, dude. Gumu, this update is um broken, like goaded. For PvP at least, for PvP is fucking is just incredible, especially with the addition of Gear 2, it just makes it so much better, and especially with the new uh, Merc tech, I guess you could call it, it, makes it even fucking better. Like there's no reason that Gum should be, um, you know, rated low, but for PVE, it's it's okay. You really need Gear 2 to go into into well, you need to build mode bar to get into Gear 2, anyways, and then it's okay for PV, PVE. But for that reason, I am going to have to rate it low B tier. I, I will not put it on top of Mera. Just because of the fact that it's held back by its PvE. Um, uh, PvE uh, pros and cons or whatever. I don't really know the word for it. I don't have the word right now. kind of blanking out. But um, yeah. For PvE, it's not that good. You can use it. You can make it work. But it's not recommended. I would rather go bomb for, for strictly PvE. But anyways. Uh... Also, makes it worse the fact that it takes so long to grind for gear too. But anyways, moving on to the next route. Spring. Uh, fucking dog shit. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I just... I've had the worst experience of spring. It is terrible. No extenders for one. You cannot 
Bro, you barely land the moves. Yeah, it can decent damage, but you're not grinding with this. Like, there is no reason that you should be using Spring to grind or even for PvP. For PvP, maybe, for, like, a little bit of fun. But I won't put it at D tier, actually. I won't put it at the worst, just because, like, you it can be viable, but it's terrible. You don't want to be using this to grind. It's so bad. You don't want to be... The, the dash even worse, bro. You get punished on that. Same, same thing with Bomb. But Bomb's only SC because you can actually kind of grind with it. But with, for, for Spring... It, it, it's a mobility fucking fruit and worst of all the mobility move bro there's not even you have to hold that shit down for a mini gepo like what like bro no one's using this i should throw this shit at fucking the worst but i'm not going to just because of the fact that you can like kind of have fun with it in pvp for pvp you know no you don't want to use this bro do not use this please for the love of god anyways next fruit gura and now gura this update actually got a <laughs> pretty big buff okay for pvp it got a big buff the grab move now stuns you know slams down and stun before you could combo it with the z move still but it was a lot harder like if you saw my uh, pvp videos with girl you would see that it's pretty hard to combo him with it and I, I could barely get it myself but especially with the hoshigan nerf well shagan's a different story but before it was there was shagan you could shagan uh you could shagan into a combo him, but not, not anymore anyways but yeah so good i think well it's not even that good for pve i'm not gonna lie it's really not that good so i think i'm gonna throw it in the middle right here but maybe i should be putting this at c tier but only because i in coliseum the gladiator coliseum you can make it work you know with the waves and everything well it's not anything like that but the waves now come wherever right it'll go to this the height you're at it doesn't matter where you are it'll fucking reach i guess so i should be putting this a high c but i'm gonna be putting it at mid b tier because you can grind with it it's just extremely tough same thing with gumbo you can grind it's just extremely tough you know but that's it is what it is uh next fruit let's see what we have here next fruit yeah heal fruit i should not have to explain why this is in the worst tier there's no reason for me to explain okay like dude there is no reason you should be using this fruit unless you have everything in the game and you're helping your friends grind and you don't want them to die this is the only reason you should be using here fruit besides that you do not use it all right next fruit here uh here i'm sorry i'm putting you at d tier t is bad terrible for grinding terrible for grinding for pvp it can be good though for pvp it can be good and but you gotta be good with here you like you gotta be good at baiting at block baiting okay like you gotta be the master baiter you know what i mean you, you have to be good at block baiting in order to like make it good i would put it near bomb but i, the, the, I guess this tier is lean is leaning more towards pv since pv is a bigger part of the game i guess you could say at least as of right now it is a bigger part of the game that pv you know anyways i don't even know what i'm saying but he's a d tier you know it's just it's not that good for, it's not good at all for pve pvp can be good just really hard to get good with it um next for horo why would you be using this like <clears throat> i don't know i don't remember the last time i saw a horror user um terrible for pve and really bad for pvp like you get punished for using certain moves you should just not be using this shit dude I, I put it on top of heal fruit because heal fruit is like the, the fucking worst and most useless fruit to come out of yet. I don't even know why they would make that shit out. Anyways, next fruit, uh, Ito. Now listen, listen, Ito, pretty good for PvP, man. It was really good last update. It was probably the best. It was the best fruit for PvP as of last update. But one of its extends got removed. I'm pretty sure. And now. Uh, why, what the fuck are you grinding with this fruit for? Like, no, it's bad. I'm going to put this below Gumbu. No, you know what? No, I'm putting this shit at C tier, below Bombu. Because it's terrible now. Like, there's no reason for you to use Ito because it has only one extender now. Um, it's terrible for grinding. And it's just really not that good. I'm, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I'm putting it below Bomb. It's just not good. It's better than here, I guess you could say, but no, it's not good. Uh, next fruit we have Kage. Now Kage, listen, listen. If this was a PVP tier, only PVP, 
Someone's knocking my someone's ringing my fucking doorbell. Anyways. Alright bro. Okay, they're done spamming their doorbell now. But anyways, like I was saying, if there's a strictly PvP, this would be S tier, easily. Three three fucking extenders now? Like what? Kage is the best route for PvP as of right now. But since it is PvE, or uh, lean towards PvE, PvE as well. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to throw this shit below Gura, man. It's not good for PV. Listen, bro, I might just have to throw it in C tier because you can grind with Gomu, but you cannot grind with this shit. Now, the only reason it's at C tier is because it's terrible for PvE, but it's super good for PvP. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle, alright? In the middle, right? It's not B tier, but it's almost B tier, so it's like super high C tier, okay? Listen, I mean, you guys might get mad, but this is this is the t my, this is the official tiers, my tiers, bro. Come on. Anyways, but yeah, doesn't be a C tier. Terrible for branding. Extremely fucking good for PvP though. But I'll put it right in the middle, okay? Next rule we have is Kilo. Uh, no, I should not have to explain myself. Don't even fucking use this shit, please. Like I should not have to explain myself on why you should not be using Kilo. Anyways, next fruit is Magu. Now Magu, A tier, solid A tier, high A tier. Almost S tier would be S tier, but I'm not going to because of the nerfs that it's had, you know, to for it for PvP and also just like the fist and stuff. It's been getting nerfed a lot, man. I'm not gonna lie. They they do not like my man Magu, okay? So they keep nerfing this motherfucker. But anyways, uh, A tier, you know, very solid for PvE and very solid for PvP. Good damage for PvE or PvP and good damage for PvP. Uh, PvE as well, so like you know, you're doing good. Has solid burn damage, but it did get nerfed. But it has, it still has okay burn damage. You know, you're still, you can still get a lot, a lot of damage. The ultimate is good for PvE. You know, Sure only has like two block breakers. One is only one being like really good. The other one's kind of just, you know, terrible. But yeah, it's it's okay. It's decent, bro. Like it's overall all good. If you don't have anything else to go with, but you got a Mongo, bro, eat that shit. You can easily crack and grind with it. You can easily do the uh, the new bosses with it. It's so good. The only bad thing about it is it doesn't have any mobility. That's pretty much it. But besides that, Magu is so solid. Okay, there's this is high A tier. Right, anyways, next we have Meru. Um, no. Uh, see, I'm putting this at the worst, but the highest, the worst. Okay, like there is no reason you should be using Meru to grind, and there is even l less reason. Okay, no, there's no reason you should use it to PvP, and even less reason for you should be using it to grind. For PvP, it's okay. Like, it's... You can make it work with the, the shotgun move, the X move, okay? It's okay. But still, you should not be really using Marrow, unless it's for a fucking meme, okay? Anyways, n next rule, Mochi. Um, Mochi... It's okay, you can use it to grind, I guess you could say. It's decent for grinding. I've never... I've only used Mochi for PvP not for pv but speaking on like the moveset and stuff it's pretty good the the cannon can be pretty good for bosses and shit and then you have the uh the what move is it it's the uh the barrage move i forgot it's not buzz code because that's the ultimate right but the the barrage move you know we all know what i'm talking about that's the spike move but anyways you can you can do some decent stuff with the you know grinding to be used for the ladder method on law it's pretty decent um, so I think I am gonna throw it at B tier. I think I'm gonna put it like right there going to A tier because it's really good for PvP. Has a good extender, has good damage, has the can, has a pretty good ultimate, you know. So I would say it's pretty good for PvP. For PvE, it's really not the best. You have better options, but you you can make it work since it's mochi. You know, it's a mythical, bro. Like you know, you love mochi, you can make it work, and it has good mobility too. It has the good mobility move. So. I'll put a super high B tier, I won't throw it into A tier. If it was a PvP tier list, I think I would be putting it at A tier, but since it's also PvE, I'm just gonna drop it down to B tier. Anyways, next is Goro. Goro, I'm gonna throw that shit below Mera, above Gura. Uh, Goro is okay. You know what? Yeah, it's okay. It has some good damaging moves. The ultimate is pretty good. It has a mobi good mobility move, it has a flight move. It's pretty good. For PvP, um, it can be good. The TP dashes make it okay. You know, I would rather have a Roku dash or just a roll dash. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I would rather have a roll dash. Well, this is for me. But I think a lot of other people would rather have a roll dash as well. Just because TP dashes can sometimes mess you up. But also, the only good part about Goro is that it makes a flight move. Besides that, it doesn't really have any burn damage. And 
You don't really want to be using Goro. No, no, yeah, no. You don't really want to be using fucking Goro anyway. Yeah, no, no. Fuck that shit, bro. Who the fuck uses Goro? Like, nobody uses Goro. This shit is ass. But, yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is you? What am I talking about? I be No. Nobody is using Goro, bro. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm putting this below Bomb. Because you'd be better off using Bomb. Because the self-destruct move. And also, I think Bomb's damage goes higher in the mines, bro. Nobody's using Goro. Like, I'm sorry to Sage, uh, Sage Z. Uh, yeah, see, see, this guy's a fucking Goro lover. This guy would fuck Goro if it was a girl. Or even a dude, I don't know. But, anyways, like, who the fuck is using this fruit, bro? Nobody. I'm sorry for my language, but, bro, like, nobody is using this goddamn fruit. Like, I would put this shit at the worst if it was, like, 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 super biased. But I'm not super biased, so I'm gonna put it, like, right in the middle, like, C tier. Like, no, you're not using this for fucking, um... You're not using this for PvE. Uh, you're not really using this for PvP. Like, no, it's bad. But if you want, if it's all you got, so if it's all you got, you just gotta work with it. Uh, Suke, I, sh I should not have to explain myself. Ope, now Ope, man, listen. I have yet to use this fruit. Okay, same thing with Venom, but I know Venom is goaded because I've seen so many people using it. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I'm being super biased right here. Okay, I'm being super biased. Ope is the shit, but I know it's terrible for grinding, but I know it's good for PvP. You motherfuckers who say it's not good for PvP, you just aren't using it right. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna be biased. I'm gonna throw that shit at A tier, okay? I'm sorry. But, like, it's pretty good for PvE, or PvP, I mean. And it's decent. No, not even decent. It's, like, mediocre. It's mediocre for PvE, okay? Like, <laughs> it's, 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 mm, it's mid. I'm gonna put it at A tier, but because it's, it's a dope-ass fruit, and it's good for PvP. So, I'm gonna throw that at A tier, alright? I'm sorry, but I fuck with my dude law. And I fuck with Ope the most, so, yeah. Uh, next is Paw. Um, listen. Paw is okay for PV, uh, PvP. It has two extenders, I'm pretty sure. But, it has TP dashes kind of mid. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't fuck with TP dashes. It's mid. Also, um, it's terrible for PvE. I don't know why you'd be using this for PvE. But it is a fun fruit to troll with. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. For that reason, I'm throwing it above here because it is pretty good for bounty hunting. You know, you can TP and your friends, you just, you just blow that shit up. So it's okay, but I don't know why you would really use it. I'm just going to throw it above here just because it has more viability than here. Um, with the whole uh, mobility, it has a great mobility, a whole TP move that you can TP from across the fucking map. That is insane. I'm not gonna, so I'll throw it above here, but you should, really should not be using it. The only reason you should be using here, by the way, you can use here. He is viable. Let me go back to here for a quick second. You can use here. He is viable. But just, like, if you're grinding, there's no reason for you this. And if you're doing PvP, uh, you have many better options, okay? And now we have Pika. Um, obviously, Pika's going S tier, okay? Pika recently just got his combo, first combo extender, the X, the R move, uh, light kick. Now you can light kick into the flight. Boom, combo extend. The, the buff really did some some good shit. I will say that light ray or not light the the light sword, the uh, light lunge, the the sword move that thing got nerfed. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it was a buff, but for me, I feel like it's a lot easier to PB now because it's a lot faster, and you can clearly see the animation when it's about to like when he lets let, lets that shit rip. When you let go of the uh, light lunge, your your character's arm pulls back, and that's when you're supposed to block, and that's the PB right there. But anyways, that's not about that. Like it, it is a good fruit overall, you know. It's amazing for grinding. Uh, the best for cracking stacking. The best uh, for uh, anything, bro. It's just the best grinding fruit. The best grinding Logia, legendary fruit, bro. Amazing mobility. Good damage. Has burn damage. And the light ray just carries this shit, bro. Especially and light uh, or Pika Flight. So, but I'm not gonna put it above Venom. Just because Venom has more PvP. Uh, just because Venom has more PvP viability, I guess you could say. I I, I know I, mean, I know what word I'm trying to use, but I just can't think of it right now. But anyways, but yeah, I'm not putting it above Venom just because Venom does have more damage output and it's just a it's just a better option for grinding. Sure, it does not have a good mobility move, but it's your better option. I'm not gonna lie. I would eat Venom for Pika any day, but Venom would not be that good for cracking stacking. But anyways, uh, next we have Spin. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Spin is fucking Spin can be nutty for PvP. Or it used to be nutty because it used to scale off a sword for some reason, and and that barrage move was doing damage. But there's no reason you should be using spin. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking dog shit. And now we have Suna. Now listen, Suna 
got buffed this update, okay? So I'm throwing that shit at S tier. All right. On top of Suna getting it's buffed, the Desert Spotter got buffed. Um, it has two extenders, really good for PvP and really good for PvE now. Especially the Law Raid. That Law Raid, bro, it is so good. Desert Spotter now scales a lot higher. Instead of 50, and now instead of every 15 points, it's now 10 points. It scales, okay? So super good. And yeah, it's, it's really fucking good. But it's not above Pika. I am putting it above Mogu just because it's better than PvP. So yeah, soon as that's here, okay? And now we have Tori. Oops, that's not Tori. Uh, where was this at? Okay, that was it. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> Oof. Okay, now we have Tori. Don't fucking use this shit, bro. If you have fucking Tori, get rid of it. What are you doing with Tori? Unless you were ICDO, get the fuck off Tori, bro. What are you doing on Tori? You are not ICDO. You are not him, bro. You are not gonna have fun with this group. You have two moves in base form you can use, okay? Two combat moves. And you have to scale up a mode bar now. And on top of that, that shit got nerfed heavily. The moves got nerfed heavily. It has a mode bar now that you, you can't even fully transform into flight in, unless you have mode bar. So you can't even use the flight move. Flight was amazing. I think it was almost as fast as Pika, faster than Coffin Boat. And almost as fast as Pika. But now it's dog shit, bro. The mode bar killed this fruit. It already, the, the rework already killed fucking Tori, okay? The rework, I'm not gonna lie, not that good. I would have preferred bait or pre, pre rework Tori over this shit, okay? But, or pre rework Tori over the rework Tori. But now this shit got a mode bar. It's terrible. Do not use this fruit. It is, if you pull this out of a mythical chest, I have my deepest condolences to you, man. Like, you just. You just wasted 3,500 Robux. Like, $35 just down the fucking drain if you pull Tori out of a mythical chest. You have a 1 in 4 chance. On top of having bad luck, you just wasted $35. Like, what are you doing with life, bro? Just, like, wipe by row at that point. Like, that's what I would do. Anyways. Uh, next we have Yomi. Uh, now Yomi is... Is... Is, is like, mid. Okay? Like, it's... It's mid. It's terrible for grinding. Terrible for grinding, but it's pretty good for PvP. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you can use this in PvP, but it's really not that good. I am just gonna put it above. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it ab ab above Paul. It's, it's terrible for grinding for PvP though. It has it's pretty good resurrection move, pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's it. And now we have Yami. Um, now Yami is bad for grinding, but it's okay for PvP. I don't know. After the Afro Bash nerf, I think this really just made it worse. I think I am gonna throw this at D tier just because I don't know why you would be using the grind. And for PvP, you just have so many better options, right? Like I, I would say this shit is worse than Goro. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but it is. And now we have Yuki. Yuki, um, I don't know. Yuki is uh, mid. Yuki is very mid. Yuki is mid. I. It's really not that good for grinding for PvP. Is it's pretty good, so I will throw it above um, Ito. But I mean, you would not, you don't want to use this for grinding. But for PvP, it's okay. You know, it's it's fun. It can be fun. And now we have Zushi. Now here's the thing with Zushi. Okay, uh, Zushi got nerfed. It's not good. It's on. It's very mid. Okay, it's mid now. So I'm just gonna throw that at C tier right here above Ito. But anyways, um, this is the tier list. I started rushing towards the end because I want to get this shit over with. I recorded for like 25 minutes. This is probably going to be a long video, okay? But anyways, um, this is the official fruit tier list for LTA, okay? Um, I made this tier list. I uploaded all the images and shit like that. So uh, if you want to use it, I guess I'll leave the link in the description for your own video. Um, if I can find a way to share the link. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if my tier list is right or wrong. Um, I think this is bright. I'm not going to lie. I, I think this is a, the best tier list. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, that's me in the video. Hope you did enjoy it. Uh, like and subscribe, join my Discord, all that shit. And yeah, goodbye.